So here I am. I'm going live in a couple of minutes. Oops, one minute it should be that I want to go live. And I'm working on it. I'm a work in progress, right? So I'm going to go into my uh, Facebook group, the Learning by Doing, but I don't know when I'm on Facebook how to go into the group itself. So this is an experiment I'm planning as soon as it turns 10 o'clock to just go live and take it from there and as my group says it's all learning by doing and then at 10 30 I've got a meeting for my workshop so what do I want to focus on my issue is focus right so I'm going to focus on the United Nations and why I love the United Nations and what I think the United Nations can do. So now, uh, live on Facebook. Meeting is now streaming on Facebook. So to really get the timing right when you go live on Facebook is quite a challenge. You'll probably hear an echo in a second when I recognize that it's going, okay, it says live, but it hasn't gone, okay. But don't press the, the arrow, you know, when you go on YouTube, when you have the play video. If I don't press that on Facebook, then you won't hear anything anyhow. So, fine, because I would have to mute the sound if I played that. So, it would have helped me to recognize what is the time lapse between going live and actually live streaming. It's Friday morning, it's 10 o'clock, and I started this face group, Facebook group Learning by Doing. And the cafe has actually already opened, but I've got another meeting at 10.30, so I'm not going down there right now. And I want to talk to you about my passion, because what is my passion, actually? You know, I retired from the UN a couple of years ago. I was there on Tuesday. Well, not at the UN itself, but at the VIC Toastmasters Club. We had our in-person meeting after a long, long time. And it was our 35-year anniversary meeting of the Toastmasters Club at the United Nations in Vienna. Now, I started working at the UN in 2009, but I was already an NGO representative at the UN. Possibly already 2003. I'd have to look up. I've got the original sticker that I got the first time I went representing the Women's Federation for World Peace at the UN. And what inspired me about the UN was the idea that there are people from all over the world coming together for world peace. When I became an NGO representative for the Women's Federation for World Peace, those goals were aligned. My goal with the Women's Federation was aligned with the goal of the United Nations. And I was overjoyed. Here I was at the United Nations. And for a number of years, I represented Women's Federation in the Peace Committee, in the Women's Committee, in the Crime Alliance, in the Drugs Committee. I became the secretary of the Drugs Committee. Meanwhile, I was applying for jobs at the United Nations. And never understood why I never got invited to job interviews. Once I read something about the procedure is dependent on testing, that you would have to be qualified, tested to be qualified. And I thought, well, oh, okay, do I have to go in there especially again to be tested? There are a lot of things I didn't really understand about working at the United Nations. Eventually, 
I got a job at the United Nations and now I'm working on being a career coach to help people who want to work at the United Nations. I have noticed that I have expertise in an area where many of my colleagues who work at the United Nations are not really aware about this aspect of civil society. And many people who work in the NGO area are not really clear about how the UN really works. Now, who really knows how the UN works? Not many people. It's quite a complex area. And when you talk about the UN, well, I was working at the International Atomic Energy Agency. That's one agency in Vienna. Vienna is one of the headquarters in the world. New York is the main headquarters of the United Nations. And it used to always rile me up when people in New York would talk about headquarters and New York as if New York was the only place in the United Nations. UN has offices all around the world, many different branches, works in many areas around the world. So if you want to work at the United Nations, I'm going to set up a webinar, get a series of workshops going to show you how to get a job at the United Nations and how does the United Nations really work. All from my personal perspective, all from my point of view. So sign up to my Learning by Doing. Maybe I'll rename it. Maybe I'll set up a new group about this. Right now, it's me, Lily, practicing, gaining my personal confidence as a career coach for people who want to work at the United Nations. So sign up and join me and I'll keep you posted.